Today I am reviewing Fairy Fencer F Advent Dark Force for the Nintendo Switch, but it is also out on a bunch of other systems, you know. It is a JRPG originally released all the way back in 2013 in Japan for the PlayStation 3. It was released on PC in 2015 and the Advent Dark Force version, which is an enhanced, sort of remastered version and some graphical updates and some other stuff, was released in 2015 also on PlayStation 4 and on PC in 2017, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and finally released on Switch now in 2019. This game is more or less a copy-paste of all the game mechanics found in the Rebirth series in the Hyper Dimension Neptunia games. And they are, of course, developed by the same people. But this game has an all new world, people, setting, and story. It is not related to Hyper Dimension Neptunia and anything in Hyper Dimension Neptunia. It is just a game that has the same engine, like almost exactly the same combat, and the same so many things are so much alike between the Hyper Dimension Neptunia Rebirth series and this game. So if you ever played a Hyper Dimension Neptunia game, you're you're gonna feel really at home here. <laughs> Story! A long, long time ago, there was a war between the vile god and the goddess. They are to this day stuck in place, held down by a bunch of magical swords called furies. People who collect furies are called fencers, and they team up with fairies, etc. You know. Our main character, Fang, he pulls a sword by coincidence and becomes a fencer against his own will. He hates being a fencer, but you know. You gotta do fencer stuff from now on. And that is collecting furies. Fang and his new fairy friend goes on a journey to find the rest of the furies and to revive the goddess eventually. And he comes across other fairies and they go on an adventure and they collect swords. That is basically the story and the conversations between all of the characters are often funny. So this game is heavily focusing on humor. Gameplay, which is the most important, you know, by the way, as I always say. The gameplay is turn-based combat combined with some dungeon crawling, walking around in dungeons, seeing enemies, going into a separate combat screen, and in combat you can control your character but then choose to do a move. So it's kind of a mix between action combat because you can move around but then you choose something so that makes it turn-based. I like this uh, combat style. It is also found in the Hyper Dimension Neptunia series, uh, which I will be referring to a lot in this video because they are so alike, you have no idea. And also, this game has a bunch of conversations between our cast of diverse and funny characters. <laughs> I have often laughed. Oh god, they are hilarious. Uh, especially Tiara, I think she is my favorite. She has the most ridiculous comments in the conversations. I cannot stress how much this feels like a Hyper Dimension of Junior game. It's only a little difference in the combat. You select and enter dungeons from a menu setup. Same goal with the towns and the shops. The gameplay often repeats like this. You converse, you run around a dungeon, you do some fights and some quests, you converse, you beat a big boss, and then you go back to town again and some more conversing. So that is like the gameplay cycle of this game basically. There are several difficulty settings, so combat can actually prove really challenging if you want it to. You know what, even at the lowest difficulty setting, you can die. It is a hardcore game actually. That can be a real challenge if you're up to it. Graphics. The cutscenes are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and same goes for character designs and their animations. <sighs> Needless to say, the animations also look like the animations in Hyper Dimension of Junior. Mm. Everything is Hyper Dimension of Junior in this game. Screams it. The graphics, on the other hand, suffer a bit in the dungeons, as you can somewhat see it is originally an older game. It may look a little bit blurry at times. 
in the dungeons. Um, like out in the distance, it's blurry. I didn't like that, you know. I want it to look crisp and stuff, but okay. So yeah, there's that. But the art style and most things in this game is beautiful and stylish. Overall, the game is really easy on the eyes. Very stylish. Music! Sounds much like the same style of music found in the Rebirth games. Beautiful electronic music with flutes and overall great bass lines. Very melodic. I really enjoy this electronic music. Uh, sometimes it's really pumped up and sometimes it is really subtle and you know, bassy and nice. I like it. And it even sounds like the same voice actors from the Neptunia games and they do an amazing job as always. So voice acting is excellent as well. If you are a fan of the Rebirth games, you must play this one. You will feel right at home. Either way, I would recommend this game to JRPG fans. It is a nice little game to speed grind in and relax with. It is charming AF, as I would say. I give this game a 6 out of 10. But the reason for this rating is that I miss a hub world because everything is going by menu and it is sort of cheap. And I might also be biased because since I love the Neptunia series so I had to adjust my rating to be a fair one. So a fair rating of this game overall is a six, yes. But you know, personally, I like this game so much, I'm giving it, you know, deep down and personal, 7.5. But to be fair, I give it a six. So that was Fairy Fencer F Advent Dark Force for the Switch. Also out on everything else, like I mentioned uh, in the start of the video. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. And you must also follow me on my Twitter and my Instagram. Those are the two social medias that I really love. Mm -hmm. If you want your name scrolling on the side, check out patreon.com slash isha. I send out packages. I can even, you know, send you a physical package in the mail. I have several perks there, you know. You can even watch a unlisted blooper video that no one has seen except for my Patreons. You know, I have some goodies in there you can just have a look around, basically. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later. Bye! And no, I don't usually wear pink.